Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with our eye teeth on hard mode and everything is good. Um, we have a drought approaching, our water is building, not as well as I'd like. Um, I have killed all the cassabus off so we need to deal with that as well, like now. Um, uh, everything everything seems to be working fine. Everything's just, just doing well, doing fantastic. This is all working here. Um, I'd finished this and figured this out here. Um, looky, looky, this is weird, but it's the only way I can figure out how to do power to transfer to all of them without anything weird. The, the, the setup that I had was nice, but this gives me 10 um, fermenters instead. So, yeah, we have this. Um, and I had to build a staircase up because we can't build on top of um, uh, warehouses. Uh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. You can't build on top of a warehouse because it's too high. So, uh, two tiles high, and beavers can only reach two tiles high. So technically, this is the third tile, so they can't reach that. So, yes, yep. Um, uh, Mr. Morky pointed out in the comments the last episode. Uh, can't build on top of that. Yes, you are correct. Um, you also mentioned about building these in U shapes. Well, this is my U shapes. Different, different. <laughs> so, so. Um, what do we want to do? Cassavus. That's something I want to do. I want to do Cassavus in here. So we will do that in just a moment here. Um, these are all correct. I need to change them over. Uh, I want to move the berries, and I'm not sure where to move them to. I think I'm going to put them up here. Um, I think I'm going to put them up here. So uh, let's do that. Let's move the berries up here. Yeah, they're not going to be in necessarily the perfect place here. So um, we don't we don't need that many of them really. Gonna put in a square patch. So that big, however big that happens to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve or twelve. Loads, loads of berries. Loads upon loads of berries. Okay. Um, and then we'll remove these ones here once this is done. So um let's put in a forester in order to get you to plant said berries. Go there. And, and we'll get a gatherer. Probably figure out storage for them up here as well. And I should probably figure out some berry storage down here. I think I will. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put like a little tank here, and here, of uh, berries and extract. They're always, always nearby. Which I'm sure I said I was going to do last episode, and I'm sure I did do last episode. And it's not here. Did I? Did I? Might I might have forgotten. Berries and extract, and this wants to be obtain and obtain. There you go. So that will supply those ten there, which will be fantastic and wonderful and joyous. Okay. Um, yeah, you come plant this. We'll figure out. We'll, we'll, we'll put the um, gatherers in there in a little bit. Um, berry wise, I think we're good. Anyway, we've got a. Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Uh, I don't have any. Oh no! I've got a thousand berry storage apparently somewhere. Where is that? Is that here? That's here. Yeah. We've got a thousand berries there. Okay, so that means we can get rid of all these and not worry about it. Let's mark all of these for demolition. So, be gone. And then very quickly, let us remark them for planting. Not that there's a forester here to plant them, but I don't want them spreading. That's what it is. So, there. Okay. And then we can plant Casper's in here. That'll be going and that'll be fine. Uh, this setup here was a pain in the backside, trying to figure out how to get power down to them. Um, because these buildings are a really awkward size. They, they really are an awkward size. I, I, I kind of wish they were a 2x2 two two instead of a 3x1. Uh, purely because getting power to transfer through them, um, or having power lines means you don't have pace for paths. And it's, oh, it's just, it's they are... They are, I like them. I like that there is there. I like that they are thin and they can just be put up against things, and it's great, and fantastic. But they're also awkward at the same time. But that's kind of the point. It's kind of the point. It's kind of the same as um, as um, Anthony pointed out last episode, um, or has in previously. Well, um, asking about vertical power poles, vertical power lines would be fantastic. Having the way to go vertically down would be absolutely brilliant. Even if we still had, um, like. I don't, I don't know. There is a vertical power mod, I know, but um, um, having them in the base game would be nice. However, the reason I don't think they're doing that is because these follow the same principle as the stairs. 
The stairs require three spaces technically. You require the onboard, the stair, and the offboard. Yes, you can stack them higher if you go up, but, but, you, but that, that's what you need for them. So you, you kind of need three, two or three tiles for it. Same as these. These require three tiles. They require the onboard piece, the downshaft, and the out piece. And the out piece or the in piece can obviously be a, a building, but it still, yeah, it still has the requirements there. If you was to put vertical power shafts in, you would still need the onboard and outboard. But if you're going much higher height, like here, for instance, you're only using a single tile to go all the way up to the top, which may not seem like a terrible thing. and you know, would be a wonderful thing and fantastic, and I'd love it. But it takes away from the... It's not complicated. It's, it's not a complicated thing to build something like this. It's not complicated, but it's not easy, if that makes sense. It's, it's, um, it requires a little bit of thinking. And that's why I feel like they won't put vertical power shafts in because it keeps, you know, you have to figure out stuff like this. You have to figure out. So it needs more space than just one single tile because space is a premium in these games. It's not really, you've got plenty of space to do things, but when you're trying to squeeze things into certain places, you need to figure out stuff like this. So, and a vertical power shaft would have made this just go, oh, go along, bump, dump, and there you go. Same for ladders. If we put ladders in the game, um, then you would build vertically a lot more, a lot more vertically. Um, you would, instead of necessarily putting houses like this, you just put houses on top of each other and just build a ladder out the front, all the way up, um, and build vertically. And then you just have towers of things. Like here, we have the tower, but to get up each floor is way more. Um, so if, we, if I if I do this, so so the floor below uh, do, 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 is this one here. So this this comes up a floor to here, um, and it's technically two floors below. But this one here is twenty five away from the, the district. And then to go up a floor, it's thirty one. To go up a floor, so it's six tiles. If you have a ladder, it's a single tile. It makes the game just so much easier with ladders. Some people might want that. That's fine. Um, I know I, I would install the ladder mod because I think it's a good thing. I like it. And the vertical power mods, I like that too. So we do that as well. But I can see why it's not in the base game. Definitely see why it's not in the base game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, let's do this. We want to destroy all of these. Yep. We want to destroy every last one of these be gone poof there we go um, and then we want to uh put in put the farms back in again but facing the opposite direction yeah so um farms farmhouse and they want to face this way Oop. And then these all want to be Kohlrabi, and then the outside two want, not Kohlrabi, Cassava. Sorry, and the outside two want to be Harvest, and then this is a plant, and then this is a Harvest, and this is a plant, and this is a Harvest, this is a plant. I actually set the plant, I did not. And then these two are Harvest. That. Okay. Boop, boop. Like that. And then we want to come in here and we want to go to Casava. It's going to be the entire of that area. It's going to be Casava. Away you go. Now, don't forget about beehives. There are no beehives in this, in, in, in the, uh, the RT version. So look at them go. Look at them go. Awesome. Awesome. And then we get loads of Casper in and we can get some Casper fermenting and stuff going in, which would be awesome. So yeah. Um awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Okay. So what else is it we want to be doing here? Um we want to but I'm going to copy this here. Um when it comes to these buildings as well, uh, I did look into possibly changing up um so the houses would come along this way for instance so instead of doing this the house will come this way which is fine but then you've got five gaps back here um, or four gaps back here sorry um so you'd have a gap in the center which wouldn't do anything so and then i was like well maybe if we have two facing 
this way and two facing that way that would work um so so you have like you have four not so hold on so you'd have you'd have four facing that way one here and one here the problem to that is that that one needs a road going into it so that might work um i did toy with the idea of looking at the barracks instead um because the barracks is a nice three by three we could put two barracks in and then two things behind it and then or two barracks is in like this and then power could be transferred through and that would be beautiful and wonderful the problem to the barracks is that it's 16 beavers it takes up nine tiles the large row houses um are eight beavers and take up two tiles so in nine tiles you can fit uh two four six you can fit four of these in nine tiles with one tile spare which is twice the amount of beavers. So that's 32 beavers in that same space gone there. So, uh, but I did look at it thinking that maybe aesthetically it would look better, putting the two in there and there, and then we could transfer power across, and that'd be fine, it, it, it would look better. Also, it would give us a roof that we could get up to, possibly. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of, I am, I am sort of leaning towards that anyway now being like, oh, so we could do that and then i wouldn't have to worry about transferring the power across and down that'd be fine you know, we could put a, um a barracks there a barracks there and then that transfers the power across to these this, this will all work as it is normally and then we put the uh water and the food here and, and they just for the water they have to walk around the corner that's not difficult at all or if it goes here we just change the fermenters over change this end like swap this this lower run round to be the same as the top one so they'd all come to this end which would be fine and then we could figure out a way to get up onto the top of it perhaps i'm sure there's a way we could do it from here we can do a staircase up and around we can get on top and then put things on top of them because i don't have anywhere to put like some entertainment stuff so um and that's sort of come to me when i'm thinking about looking this here thinking well i could put some things in here and put i've got three tiles or some tiles here which we could put something in but I can't get a rooftop terrace because that just won't fit here. There's no way I can do that. I could I could level it up another level um, uh, by going up another height and putting a rooftop terrace and then... But I don't know. It just... Hmm. Um, the problem to that is that we currently have um, 16, 32, 48 beavers in this area. And if we went, if we went to the... Um, barrack version we go down to 32 so we'd lose 16 beavers per area so 32 times 4 is 128 beavers i should know that i don't know why it's eight times table i should know that um these are currently doing 120 but if we go up any more well-being we get more than that so It'd be touch and go to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I am I am leaning towards that, however. I'll tell you what, we'll leave this one like this. I'm not going to tear this one down. We'll leave this one like this. And what we'll do is we'll, over here, we'll try it with the, the brown version instead. And put some entertainment and stuff in on top of it. And see how it works and see how it goes. We could always squeeze in a couple of these little row houses somewhere else as well. You know, they could always be squeezed in somewhere. Um, about it we're not going to have fermenters at every single place i'm going to have fermenters here i'm going to have fences this is going to be mirrored over here basically we're going to have fermenters here and fermenters here um because uh we want to ferment as much cassavus as we could possibly ferment so yep um, i have no idea what you're supposed to be next so i'm just going to leave you empty for the moment you are filling up with lovely amounts of cassavus that's awesome and this is the fermented cassava one no that's the fermented cassava which is full awesome okay cool cool and the next one's going to be over here away from everything so yeah okay okay um let's do that let's do that let's let's put him let's do the thing let's do the thing stop talking start building um let's get rid of this path over here i think if i do this it's gonna no it's not gonna get rid of We'll get rid of the um we'll get rid of all of these individually. Very annoying. These I think I can get rid of all in one go. Yeah. 
because um, when you remove things, it removes stuff below as well. Which is very annoying. Yeah. Uh, you've got nothing to do. Go away. Uh, you done? You're done? Okay, so let's get rid of that. Um, we'll put in... I think one would be enough. Uh, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the right place. I think one would be enough, but I'm going to put in two. Um, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is the centerpiece here. So I'm going to put in two um, right next to each other. Then put some storage across the road from it, I think, perhaps. What we're going to do is we are going to um, mark them for demolition. I'm going to put a storage in there. And we'll put the gathering flags opposite the storage. you're going to be berries there you go okay cool 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 right um yeah okay okay that's all good that's all good right so this is this is cleared down here we need to adjust this up and over in the changes and bits and pieces there but we can do that later that's not a big thing what i want to do right now is put the three in there and then we want to put in path between the two like that and then we want to put in our breeding pods I hated that one by mistake boom there you go uh, and then um, see this is the bit where it gets a little bit complicated a little bit complicated because over here Put in the uh, the extract and berries here for these. However, here I might have power on both sides of these being transferred around. So I can't put in the berry and extract and things. So maybe we'll put them down the ends. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll put them down the ends. Uh, also, I should unpause you. I've just realised you should be unpaused. So should you. You can keep this topped up when the water runs out. Because um, I did have these dry up and all the berries, actually, all the kohlrabi die on me. But I didn't notice that it dried up because obviously the pump's not working because a bad tide came in and we had uh, what, 30 days of bad tide. Hence why these pumps are still pumping on the end here. They're still going because there's bad water in the bottom of this water. Oh, let's clear that here now. So. Okay, we're full on water, which is awesome. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, the other big question is, uh, where do we go? Uh, right. Where, where do we where do we put the new district center? Done. Go away. These rest. I'll watch these and I'll turn them off as they breed. Next thing. So nothing to do. Range. Lumberjack flag. Oh yeah, because I've shut down the uh, foresters. Which is fine, because I think this is different. Okay, so we'll get rid of these lumberjacks here. So, get rid of that one, that one, that one. We don't need those anymore. We'll get rid of this forester here. We don't need that anymore. We're not going to put any more up here. That's fine. Which means I'm going to shut you down as well. Don't need water going down there for the moment. These ones, they're chopping down wood here at the moment. We can turn these back on as and when if we need them. But, um, again, this wants to be lowered down, so that's why I'm kind of shutting everything down. Moving it. So I need to blow up this. Because this is going to be forestry area. So, like, this area here and here is going to be forestry. In between, and then behind it is going to be industry and stuff. Um, Luigi mentioned in the comments as well that maybe we should move the industry down this end, closer to the mines. Uh, yes, I actually do agree with that. I think the industry should be down here. When it comes to houses, I'm going to spread them out as it goes. So this will be, like, here and a bit of forestry on the end. Um, and stuff down there. And there can be other things as well, like, you know, planks and things can be up here. There's no reason why we have to do that, but... Basically, we're going to have a forester area. Um, I probably am not going to have the berries be as big as this. We probably don't need the berries as big as this. Yeah, probably not. So, 
Um, let's also get rid of this. This is no longer needed. Goodbye. Goodbye. No. That's interesting. Ah, no. No, no, that is. Wait, 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 wait. What have I done here? What have I done here? I need to connect the power line to the... Ah, yes, yes, I need to get the power line to the batteries from, from behind. That That's why this was here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this area over here. Probably nothing. Probably just going to be like a dead area. So I'm just going to do this. Oop. And if we want to do that, we'll just bridge over it. We should be fine. We'll be fine. I actually built this so that I could run the power line out and into the back like this way um, because this is a, a cross section so we could go this way and then went and put the stairs in there um, so yeah <laughs> um, but that's fine it doesn't matter it's, it's, it, it doesn't matter it's not not desperately important um, this wants to be I want to remove this here because we want to blow this up right back to the edge here anyway so so yeah we want to remove all of this here and then all of this here that's not needed at all. Done. Uh, to be honest, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this up a little bit here. Sorry. Sorry. Um, oop. Made that a priority. I'm actually going to change this up as well. And we're going to come the other way. Because there's no point in running the power line up and around that way. We don't need this. So we can get some of these resources back. Because I need gears and things. Um... So, yeah, I don't need any of that, any of that, any of that, any of that, or any of that, or even that one there, we don't need. I'm going to put the explosive here, blow this one up, please. Come on, it's my priority, we have explosives, we have 892 of them, come on, you can do it, you can do it Beavis. Come on. Come on. Anyone? Anyone? No? What is going on? What? They, so they built all that and didn't come and build the construction site that I said. Yes, they were already on their way. I suppose it's a long way. It is a long way. The woods and stuff's up here. So it's a long way for them to come. We've got to come down here, all the way along this path here, up and that like that. And if the beaver that was carrying the explosive, he probably, the beaver that was carrying the explosive, is like one of these guys here, which is dehydrated and starving, um, his work, his, his actual movement speed is minus. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Right. And then we can put in a power shaft like this. Make that a priority. Why are you put, taking gears up there? What's the, oh, we still got oh oh we still got batteries to build up there. Oh, I had those. That. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. So do that. Yeah. So that's that's going to connect that there, and then that will repower this, which will be fine. That's not a problem. Okay. Right. So you can go now. You can go now. You're getting done. You can go. You can go. You can be done in a minute. Okay. And then we will build the second version here. Um, and we'll try it with, um, uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 the breathing pods require metal blocks, we don't have any metal blocks, so we have no scrap, get scrap here, is it time to build a mine, is it time to build a mine, I think it's time to build a mine, oh, that's a lot of effort, Oh, okay. We'll put the mine in. Yes. Um, put the mine in. However, um, we'll put the mine up to that. And this is going to be for scrap metal. Scrap metal efficient one requires explosives, right? Um, yeah. Which we can do because we've got extract and trees. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the efficient version of it if we can. However, we don't have any gears and logs and stuff being made. Well, we have we have blocks without any gears being made, so that's going to take forever to build. So instead, let's get down here. Um, yeah, because that's not awkward. Uh, do that. Yeah, do that. 
just do that. Jump. And then we will put in here a couple of scrap scavenger flags. Try and get us some scrap going so we can get some uh Metal. We get some metal going. That's what I want because like, otherwise I can't build the breeding pods. So I've removed half the breeding pods, um, but it's okay. We've got 88 over. We we're over beavers anyway. We're over beavered, so that's fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we have this. I'm gonna make this actually like a uh, low construction site, the workplace as well. Um, at lowest workplace. Uh, so they will come and add to this and build this over time, but not right now. Yeah, and I don't have a treated work. I don't have a. So that's not going to get built anytime soon. <laughs> that's not going to get built anytime soon. Okay, however, power is back and running again. Awesome. So all these can start doing their things, which is fantastic. Um, you're not obtaining the water. Are our haulers being stupid on this side? I, I think the haulers just overwhelmed. I think the haulers are just overwhelmed. We might have to. Uh, Put in loads of haulers and make them all like the lowest priority. And then just all our 80 spare beavers can become haulers. So, but we'll get to that next episode because right now, uh, I'm going to leave this one here and we will come back next time and continue on from there. Um, our core rabbits are dropping, that's concerning. Um, but that's probably because we, uh, no, we still got corn rations going. Um, Loads of fermented cassavas, so yeah, I think we're, we're okay. We're okay for food. We might, we might have actually had like a, a run on food, but now we're going to drop down by um, 120 beavers. So <laughs> yeah, so um, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. We'll have enough. We'll have enough. It'd be fine. And if we need more, we can always do more later. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>